of South Dakota State. We'll start with an opening statement from Seth and then take questions from there. Please wait for the microphone to be passed to you. Thank you, Seth. Well, uh, I'm Sam Seth Groves, uh, going to the finals of the NCAA tournament, pretty excited, uh, score to God, and uh, ready to go. Questions, please. So the obvious question, the ties with you and I was, will now be brought up. You talk about what this is meaning to you, and with all of everything you went through, you can talk about what Chris Bono did, did, did to you to help you deal with all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, I mean, made some mistakes when I was at Iowa, screwed up, made some bad choices, but uh, lucky enough, uh, Coach Bono took me on and uh, brought me right in like family and really just helped me get, get things back together. Uh, got on campus at South Dakota weighing like 165 pounds and uh, kicked me into shape, got me down. I uh, was up weight last year, got down this year, and uh, you know, he's really just pushed me in all aspects of my life to just become better. And uh, I guess the ties with Iowa, uh, I wouldn't say that it's bad blood anymore, you know. I made the mistakes, not them, and uh, I don't have a right to be mad at them, but uh, you know, it still gives me a little extra fire knowing it's a guy that I was supposed to be on a team with, we're familiar with each other. So yeah, there's a little bit of fire going there to win those matches, so. Seth, is there a sense of a history and accomplishment as you go through the Big 12 championships <coughs> now at NCAAs, being the first Division One All-American for SDSU? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's an awesome feeling, and uh, you know, first Big 12 champ, first All-American here, it's amazing, and just happy to put put the team on the map a little bit. But uh, goal is NCAA champ, and uh, I'll get the shot at that tomorrow. So uh, you know, I'm just keeping focused on that right now and doing everything right till then. So, Seth, can you uh, describe your emotions after you didn't get a chance to wrestle him in the dual meet? Were you upset? Were you mad? Um, yeah. I mean, I prepared hard for him. You know, I was ready for that matchup, and then they ended up throwing some get figured out the day before that he wasn't going, and. Uh, a little upset, but you know, got to go out there and do your thing no matter what, and uh, wrestle hard every single match. So it's, it's what it is, and uh, I just had to keep learning, keep moving forward. Seth, full tournament, you've been really tough on top, turning people, riding them, just kind of dominating uh, the positions. Talk a little bit about your commitment to that aspect of your wrestling, and and just why it works so well for you against some real high talented athletes. <coughs> Um, you know, I, just, I like wrestling a hard pace, and uh, the thing I've learned this year is just if I get taken down or give up a takedown or anything, just keep wrestling hard. When I get my chance on top, I swim to break guys. Just riding hard, uh, working for my turns. Uh, last year, uh, I would I would ride I would do the same type of ride, but wasn't really getting turns. And uh, this year, I really focused on getting turns, and I think that that kind of scares guys a little bit on bottom, so they wrestle more hesitant and. Don't really try as hard to get up, so it's been awesome. And I uh, just really, uh, my first match here, I didn't get a turn on a guy, so I was a little disappointed in that. And really focused on that the next couple matches, and uh, was able to get turns in my last two matches against some real good guys. So, yeah. Seth, what do you remember? Basically, two years ago this week, when kind of everything went down in Iowa, kind of what, contrast your feelings then to, to what you're feeling now. I mean, two years ago from this day, I was in jail, so. I mean, uh, it's crazy to think what God's done for me and my team's done for me, my family, and everybody that's had my back since then. I, I mean, looking back, I mean, that day I would have never thought I'd be wrestling the NCAA finals two years from now. I mean, I thought my wrestling career was probably over. And I, just, I mean, it's an amazing feeling. You can't thank God enough. And, uh, you know, just trying to use the best of my opportunity that my coaches, that God's given me, that everybody's really, everybody that's been rooting for me, I mean, I'm doing it for them. So. That'll do it. Thank you, Seth.